Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali. Today I'm going to be doing my junior year reflection video. I've done this video for freshman and sophomore year, so I will have the links to both of those videos in the description box. So if you want to get a little background story of my whole college experience, then definitely watch those before you watch this video. So like the other videos, I just wrote down a couple of events and just random thoughts I had about this past year. So this video might be a little bit out of order, but let's get started. So right now I am officially a senior in college. I mean, I feel like I say this in every reflection video, but the year literally feels like it just flew by. And just like college in general, it just went by so fast. And I don't know how that happened because I feel like high school took forever and it was like the same amount of time, like four years, you know? So a little background, I do go to the University of Central Florida. I'm majoring in radio television and I'm taking the generalist track. And also this year I changed my minor. So I used to be entrepreneurship and I switched to sociology. And the reason for that was because the entrepreneurship one, I was gonna take more classes. I had already taken like one in the minor. And then when I went to like go enroll for some more classes, those classes had prerequisites and then those prerequisites had prerequisites. I kind of wanted to just get out of here in four years and not have to do like a summer after or a whole year after. So you might be thinking like how did she get from entrepreneurship to sociology? Like what made me pick sociology? And to be honest, it's just that sociology has like a lot of online classes to take. So yeah, I'm just really over going to physical class and I don't see anything wrong with like learning online and learning, you know, wherever you want to learn. So I just have the whole mentality that I really would rather do a class online. And you know, we're all different. We all have different preferences and that's just how I like to roll. I actually just went to an advising session recently and hearing that I just need to take like 22 credit hours more was like, what? It's just crazy because coming into college, I think you need to get like 120 credits or something like that. Some huge number and you're just like overwhelmed by hearing that number. But when you get down to 20, you're just like, uh, what do I do? I don't uh, like I'm about to graduate. Like it's weird, you know? So what's even crazier is that I could actually graduate in the fall if I wanted to because I've been taking two or even more classes every single summer since before freshman year. So basically I only have seven more classes to take. If I take two over the summer and five in the fall, I can graduate in December. And that's not gonna happen because I do not wanna graduate. I wanna stay here, you know, not as long as I can because I can definitely be a fifth year senior if I like took on another major. That's not gonna happen. I'm not trying to stay that long. But I definitely wanna stay, you know, for four whole years, like a normal college career. I want to get everything out of it as I can and I don't think I'm ready to like just like adult that fast. So I am kind of like prolonging it. So I'm gonna be taking like two over the summer and like maybe three classes in the fall and two over spring just because, you know, I just want to like stay here. Is that so bad? <laughs> so that's basically my academic background. So if you guys didn't know, and if you watch my videos, you probably would know because I like literally vlog about it all the time. But I am in a sorority. I am in Kappa Delta and it is my third year here or I'm going into my fourth. So I did go through recruitment as a freshman. This past year was my first year living in the sorority house. And it was also my first time ever having a roommate. And honestly, I was kind of worried because basically I only have like half a room to like store all my stuff and guys you don't even understand how much stuff I have. Like I'm currently moving out. I definitely thought living with a roommate was gonna be weird. I was just kind of worried about like the whole sleep schedule thing. If like one had to get up early and like, you know, that kind of thing. Or even sometimes I'm in a really clean mood and I have to have everything clean, but like I can't really like clean her side, like, you know what I mean? So I was just kind of worried about that, but I definitely learned if like something's not clean, it's not the end of the world. Or like, I really had this mentality that like, the room was split and like if my side was clean that's all that mattered i don't know it was just kind of weird i definitely really liked it though because i'm such a people person i love having people around me all the time and it was just nice not to feel lonely because in my apartment i definitely felt lonely most of the time whenever i would like come back i mean it was nice because you know you could listen to youtube out loud and not have to wear headphones but it's definitely like worth it and i got super lucky because i got to the room with my best friend so yeah that probably made it a lot better 
when I was a freshman, everyone said like, oh, you should like probably look into being vice president of public relations and like being the assistant since you like photography and like videography and stuff like that. So I definitely was interested, but there was one stipulation and that was you had to live in the house. And at that time I was like, hell no, like I have a boyfriend back in Georgia. He comes to visit me and, and like, what would we do if I lived in the sorority house? Cause obviously he couldn't sleep here. So, you know, that's just so much money that we would have to pay for a hotel room and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like I was just being so stupid because he doesn't even come to visit that often. And now that we have Airbnb, that's what we use. And it's really not that big of a deal. So I'm so happy that I did live here because I loved it. It was so convenient, guys. Oh my gosh. Like if I didn't have to, I would not touch my car for like weeks on end. Like it was insane. All my classes are in this one building literally so close to my sorority house so it's so nice to just roll out of bed and you know just walk two steps and you're at class and if you do have the choice to live in a sorority house do it a hundred percent because it is amazing like you will never have the option to live with this many girls and it's just so fun being surrounded by like so many people I don't know I just like it so like I said the reason for living here is because I did take on the role of vice president of public relations my sophomore year into my junior year and I just recently got re-elected for a second term so that's really exciting and I'll be living in the house next year and I'm upgrading to the president suite upstairs which is a tad bit bigger last year my chapter actually hired a videographer so I just kind of took pictures but this year I got to do so many more videos for Katie and it made my heart so happy. I got to do like the big events, which is like the Shamrock event, Katie Shakedown. And then I got to do the bid day video and I'm gonna be doing the recruitment and philanthropy video, which is shown during recruitment. So that's a huge deal. And I'm just so honored that like I've gained their trust enough for them to like let me do this and let me take on this role. So I'm so excited. If you guys are going through recruitment here at UCF, definitely look out for that. And it will definitely be on the Capital to UCF YouTube channel um, after recruitment. So definitely look for that as well. Speaking of videos, this year I finally got my first paid gig and it was just so exciting. It was for um, the station, which is a new apartment complex. And I even got to work with College Weekly. I also invested a little bit more into my equipment so I got a new lens, I got a new microphone, I got new lights. It's awesome because I get to use all this equipment for obviously my YouTube channel and my Instagram and stuff like that. But it's super cool that I can actually make my money back on these investments. So it's definitely the best feeling when you're actually getting paid for your services. This past year I turned 21 and it was so awesome. I actually vlogged my 21st birthday weekend because I was home for a bit and then I went back to Orlando and celebrated and had two sci nights so it was really cool. I'll put that link down below as well. It is such a big relief knowing that you're 21 and you just don't have to worry anymore like literally such a big weight has been lifted off my shoulders and it's so weird because it's not like I have more of an urge to drink because I'm 21. It's just nice knowing that you don't have to worry. <laughs> This past January, me and Ryan celebrated our five-year anniversary, and that's crazy to think that I've been dating him for half a decade. And what's even crazier is that technically our relationship has been more long distance than in person. Because even though I do go home for the summer, I do have like so many months here in Orlando without him. I feel like I always get the question like, how do you do it? How do you do long distance relationships? But guys, it is so nice because you get to have your own life, sort of. Like if he went to this school, I feel like I'd be with him 24 seven just because that's the type of person I am. I love hanging out with him. And if I have the choice, I will literally hang out with him all the time. But it's nice because I don't have to choose between my friends and him when I'm here. I can just do me, do my sorority, be with my friends and not have to like choose. So something really exciting happened this year. And that is that I have been working more closely with UCF marketing team and I don't know if you guys know this, but if you guys follow me on other social medias, you'll see that I was the first ever host of Days and Nights UCF's Insta Scoop. Welcome to Days and Nights UCF's Insta Scoop. I'm your host, Sonali. Let's talk about some events happening on campus. And we'll see you guys on our next Insta Scoop.
and that is just basically like an Instagram stories where we update students on what's happening around campus. And then I'm just also working with them on some videos for their YouTube channel. And sometimes they'll cross promote what I do on my YouTube channel if it pertains to UCF, which is really cool. And anytime I do any videos with them or any content with them, it is just so much fun. Like that is something that is my true passion. Like being on camera and creating content and just talking to other people, like it literally makes my heart so happy. And what's even more exciting is that I am officially being hired as their fall intern and I'm so, so excited. I actually had my first internship with um, On The Tea Now, which is a golf production company. So I was filming like golf instructional videos and stuff like that. It was definitely cool to do something different, but I'm very excited to be working with UCF because it's kind of more what I want to do in my future. I mean, I don't really know what I want to do, but you know, kind of like that lifestyle content. I really, really enjoy doing that. So it's official, my childhood home was sold and it honestly hasn't really hit me because I haven't been home really that much. I think I went home like once and I got to see like my mom's new place and I haven't seen my dad's yet, so I'll see it this summer. So going back to like my hometown city this summer is gonna be definitely weird, not having like my house super close to Ryan and just being able to drive like five minutes to his house whenever I wanted to over summer. But my dad didn't move too far um, from my house, so it shouldn't be too bad. My mom did move like an hour or so away from where we used to live, so that kind of sucks. But obviously, I'm still going to stay over there and hang out with her over the summer. This past year living in Katy, it was so nice because obviously me and Charlotte are best friends, so our whole friend group just hung out in our room every day, like hours on end, and it was just so much fun. I'm definitely going to miss that over the summer, just being able to hang out with my friends, like so conveniently too, not having to like drive to anyone's houses or like meet them here at a coffee shop you know it was just so convenient and it definitely made our friendship like so much stronger and i'm so so excited to be taking on senior year with them overall i think my junior year went really well i feel like i was a little bit scared sophomore year because i wasn't getting an internship or like working or doing really anything pertaining to my major but i'm really excited to take more steps into the professional side of the world because I feel like I'm just so used to working for myself and I definitely need to get used to working for other people so I'm really excited to do that. I'm just so excited for senior year. I'm also horrified and scared to like leave all this after senior year and leave all my friends, leave my sorority. I feel like that's definitely one thing that I just don't think I can live without, which I know I say that now, but I can definitely do it. And like, you do move on, but it's gonna be so hard, especially after I'm not on council and just not having stuff to do every single, you know, day for that position. It's gonna be so weird. I definitely need to take advantage of what UCF and Capital to has to offer for my last year and you know just take it all in try to make it go as slow as possible so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are still watching this video comment down below where you go to school if you are in high school if you're in middle school like whatever if you're in college i want to see how many of my viewers are actually ucf nights or are going to be i'm going to try to vlog a lot more over the summer and just put out more content. So definitely be looking out for that. But for now, follow me on my Instagram. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. And I'll definitely be having some fun content over the summer because you know, gonna be reunited with my Instagram husband. But honestly, I'll just have more time to create content for you guys. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>